Oh, hey, welcome back, everybody. I hope you had a nice stretch break. Uh, just a reminder, we are back with Lady Arcaders Attract Mode. We do have another feature for you right now. And you know how I said it was rhythm? Uh, well, guess what? It's also an education. We're going to be doing the recurring feature from Okapi on the FM, showing our favorite artists and history. And listen, I don't want to keep you waiting. This is super, super awesome. So Okapi, could you teach us a little music lesson? Yeah, sure, I can do that. Hey, everybody, it's Okapi, and welcome to episode two of On the FM. Uh, today, we're taking a look at BMS, B Music Source, which is not actually a game. It's It sure looks like a game. Um, we'll talk about that. But uh, yeah, uh, Rena is on comms, Yo. JPEG is on host, and uh, we've already been told by our tech that we are on borrowed time, <laughs> so we're going to get started. Also, enjoy the custom theming that I did. It's all in-game. Uh, just watch this background video. It's so good. Oh, is it not loading? That's unfortunate. It does that sometimes. The custom theme. Some charts don't have the background videos. Oh, well. This song's good anyway. Song's a banger, that's what matters. But I picked the song just because the video is amazing. If we have time later, I'll come back and just auto-play one of them that I know the video works on. It's also possible that I have something set up wrong, and it's just not gonna upload my background videos. Dang. And I got tricked by the soft land. Okay, I was told there were mines in this chart. Where are the mines? Wait a minute. So you're telling me that you picked this as your intro and you're absolutely slaying it and you are not, you don't, you, you don't have this memorized, this is you? What? I've, I've never played this version of the chart. I've what? played a harder version. <laughs> oh, I, your raw power right now is off the chart. It's amazing. And we didn't blow up the mines, which is important. Nice. Easy so, clap. Easy clap. All right, so some of y'all are probably asking yourselves, hey, Okapi's played this game before. First off, partial credit. No, I have not. <laughs> so, B Music Source is a file format that was originally developed back in 1998 with the intention of uh, being able to package files and songs and play them back in a simulator that played back charts the same way that Five P Beat Mania does. Um, it's been a couple years since 1998. So, now it supports the 7 key, which is Beat Mania 2DX. It has 10 key, which is Beat Mania 5 key doubles, 14 key for Beat Mania 2DX doubles. It has 9 key for pop and music, which is a 9 button game. It has 24 key for Keyboard Mania. And for the two people I know that play uh, Keyboard Mania doubles, uh, there is also 48 key, which is just astronomical. <laughs> Yeah, that's There's not very many charts for that mode. I vomited just listening to this. I thought you would like to know that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, that first song, um, Batch uh, by Litmus. Uh, Litmus does a lot of really good songs. Uh, they usually have very good videos as well. Um, we might revisit that later if we have time. 
Uh, one thing I like about this game compared to 2DX is you can search for songs uh, by uh, the name, which is good because I want to play Good Bounce, uh, which is uh, a track by Vimeo, uh, who is another fairly prolific artist. They've been popping up more and more recently. Um, these songs um, that um, he's made uh, do occasionally get out into other games. Um, good Bounce is in a couple of games that I play. Um, uh, there's another song, uh, Good Text, in a couple games. Uh, there's one song in Voltex that's really good. Uh, these long notes are in not a great spot. And like 2DS, I'm going to be playing most of this on random, if not all of it. So I've never seen these patterns before either. The fact that you have never seen these is blowing my mind. Like, like I am, I'm losing it a little bit. I'm yeah. so, <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you just learn to read it after a while. It takes a little bit, but you get used to the chaos. Especially with yep. playing your fingers, it must be dope. Sometimes it just flows, and it just works, and it's super cool. Even in random, it's kind of sick. These are like funny chords. <laughs> they do look very funny. It is beautiful. We love to see it. Yeah, only the lane cover, the graph background, which is me, by the way, uh, and the um, loading screen are custom. Uh, the bulk of the theme is uh, actually a combination of Light Tone 9 and Light Tone 10, uh, which are skins that are designed to emulate uh, the 2DX skin. Uh, it's a little different, but it's close enough that it's like a lot of people consider it Uncanny Valley. <laughs> That's fair. Um, um, like the, the color scheme that I'm using right now um, pretty closely resembles um, 2DX28 Beast Rover, which was blue with yellow accenting, kind of a, a world travel eating all the food theme, which I really like. Uh, the little animated character is also me, by the way. That's the character that I use in 2DX. Um, I recreated her uh, using magic. I'm not going to talk anymore about it. Y'all heard it. Uh, Okapi actually magician. Yeah. Yeah, uh, this is like my favorite song. And BMS, it's very good and cute. And I still have no background animation. Very nice. I know this background animation works because I play this song a lot. have something set up wrong in my options. I'll take a look at it at the halfway break. I mean, it allows us to focus on, first of all, we have your super awesome hand cam, um, and just looking at these charts and just, you know, the absolute awe and respect that I'm pretty sure all of us are feeling right now. Something interesting about this chart too is it has no scratches. It's just all buttons. 
Sweet. Tell you it's a better game. I think they serve two totally different purposes. So, like, I can't really say which is better or worse because, like, it's come. It's like comparing a four-wheel drive truck to a sports car. You're not going to do the same thing with those two vehicles. Um, is there anything obvious? Oh, BGA Auto. That that might be what's causing the issue here. Uh, let's put my put it back on best clear. Let me just fire the song up again real quick since it's already loaded and see if the background video comes up this time. That looks like the background video. Maybe? Oh. Yeah, yeah, now it's now it's working. Sweet. Okay. Uh, let's go back and play Latch again, because y'all need to see that video. Like, on God, it's great. <laughs> so, um, one of the things about this game is, um... Like, all of these songs are made by regular people. Like, these are just people that are doing it for fun. The videos are made by people doing it for fun. The charts are done by people that nothing about this game is commercial. Um, sometimes the artists will, you know, sell their songs through other platforms, but this game in and of itself, completely free. Okay, now the video is working. Just watch the video. Oh, what's this the video? I was, I was expecting like animation. No, we're, we're live. We're live action. No, it's just, it's just like 2DX. Like some of them are animated, some of them are live action, some of them are like actual like image slideshows using keyframe animation. It's wild. This is a masterpiece. Yeah, Litmus and his friends like always do these really goofy videos. The Southland got me again. I think it be submitted for an Oscar. Agree. We haven't even gotten to the best part yet. I'm already <laughs> compelled. I'm already hooked. Yeah, I know. I don't need it. I'm already good. <laughs> all a dream that blew my mind
Yeah, the chit chat video is just a girl doing cute girl things. Oh my god. Like, we're not, we're not, we're not missing out on anything. Um, so, like, you'll notice I have all these folders of songs. Like, and then there's the folders inside those folders. So that's one of the things that's really handy about this game. Um, once you get to a certain point in Beat Mania 2DX, like about level 11s or so, you start to kind of get pushed by the community to start playing BMS. Uh, specifically, something called Satellite. Uh, satellite is just more charts to play that are around that level. It starts off at Satellite Zero, which I've cleared most of. Uh, most of them I just haven't played. I actually haven't failed any Satellite Zeros. And that's roughly the upper end of 2DX 11s going into the lower tier 12s. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. That kind of covers the entire 12 range in 2DX. Once you're passing 5 and 6, you're probably ready to start making attempts towards getting the highest grade in 2DX, which is Kaiden. Uh, but I'm not that good. I mostly stick around in Satellite 0 and 1. Um, which is where a lot of the showcase is. Um, actually, by pure coincidence, I was going to show these songs off anyway, but it just happens that they're all in Satellite. Because uh, this folder is... It's a very prestigious folder. You have to be nominated to get a song in it. It has to be exceptionally high quality. A lot of these songs were either winners or very well received in various community contests. So, like, everything in here is a bop. Like, there are no bad songs in this folder. Um, Amazing. And we're going to see, like, another complete tonal shift. Like, you can do whatever you want in this game. Like, nobody will stop you. And I love this song because it's Casio Core AF. Aw, yeah. And Casio Core is it? Casio Core is a genre that there's not enough of, and there should be more of it. The BG animators are like some of the funniest, most talented people. Oh wow, I forgot that chord stream was that mean. Wasn't gonna catch me off guard twice. Well, we lost the X hard there, that's fine. the heart there. a good song it's so cute it's so jaunty it's very casio core um so one other thing that's really nice about this game um 2dx does not do this uh sound voltex does uh which is another konami game so there's actually a mode in this game uh called gas which is gauge auto shift um so Typically in Beatmania 2DX, you pick what lamp you're trying to go for, and if you fail out of the lamp, that sucks. Oh well. In this game, you can run all the lamps at the same time. Uh, I run on Best Clear, which runs literally every possible lamp at the same time. Uh, some people use Hard to Groove, uh, so as soon as they're out of Hard, they they just jump to Normal, but you know. 
it's, it's preference. Like, this is like the only 7 key game where people actually like care about easy clears. But I digress. Um, so yeah, Merry Go Round, good song. Uh, this artist, Zek, um, it, he's got a few songs that show up in various Konami games. So, like I've talked about in some of my other showcases, some of these artists do end up getting pulled into commercial games and making some money for all their hard work. So this kind of ends up being like a minor league proving ground for a lot of people who are hoping to break into the industry. Which is really cool. I mean, it's not an avenue I would expect to exist, but I'm down for it. Yeah, I'm feeling a huge job opportunity is opened up for me right now. Not that I'm good at <laughs> I'm just saying that now I know that this is here. People you know. <laughs> Worth a try? Call him A, call him B. Yeah, th there's a, a couple of songs that we'll be playing today that are like all over the place in commercial games, but originated as BMS projects. That's a new EX heart there. That's huge. Nice. Ah, uh, I probably should have played that more recently. Um, give me like two seconds. Uh, the sun is setting at just the right angle that it's blinding me. I need oh. to change the angle of the blinds real quick. New enemy dropped. The sun. Oh, hell no. Nah. That's way better. Now I can see. Yeah, the background music on um, on the song select is also um, something that you can change. And people do make background music loops. Um, these um, background loops were actually made by a member of the community that I know, uh, Dot Phase, a very influential member of the um, of the rhythm game community in the West. Uh, we don't speak much anymore, we kind of went different directions in life, but he's a good dude and does a lot of great work. Uh, and I don't know how to spell. Where is... We're, you know, we're just going to go to the alphabet. Uh, that was the alphabet. The title was the alphabet. Ah, yes. Life is piano. Sure, words have never been spoken. I could not agree more. Yeah, this song has showed up in a couple other games. I know it's in Chuny Them because it's one of my favorite Chuny Them songs to play. Agreed! Dangerous. 
It wasn't even food, it was just food related. <laughs> That's how you know it's real bad. Uh. This is the most polite random. I mean, hey, we take those. Yeah. Politeness. Yeah, it's, it's dividing the work up very evenly. too. 83 point raise. Yeah, something else I really like about this game compared to 2DX, uh, there's an option that you can turn on that will change the color of a 4. So if you ever hit a 4 and you didn't have a note to hit, in 2DX it just counts it as a 4. This game will actually tell you, hey, you did a mash 4 and tell you exactly what went wrong. Which is nice so that you know you're hitting extra stuff. Uh, this is December. I don't know if it's on any tables. It was part of Vita Fighters uh, 16. It's just a good song that I like, so you get to listen to it now. There was one of those purple fours. feels like the companion to from Portal is having quite the time. <laughs> Dropped the hard clear at the very end. Oops. We'll take the little rays, though. We take them. We take them. We, yeah, we take them. Yeah, that was a very good song that came out of Vita Fighter 16. I'm inclined to agree. Yeah, all the Vita Fighter songs are typically, like, at the very least, like, they're playable. Uh, but the ones that get featured, and that one was one of the featured songs, usually very good. Uh, what, what did I have next? Oh, yes, Happy Blazing Summer. Oh my god, this song whips. Oh. And then after this, we get to play three group songs. Aw, uh, yeah. But we'll talk about that in a second.
Triple A minus 74, okay. Uh, also, if there's like any questions, comments, concerns from chat, uh, feel free to relay them to me because um, I don't have chat open. I forgot to open it. And this isn't, I play nothing but games that hate being tabbed oh, out of. So if I tab out, I break the game. <laughs> Must say, huge If you die in the game, you die for real. <laughs> <laughs> huge, huge dub for our pansexual brethren out here. Yes! Yeah, <laughs> We love so to true. see it. <laughs> this, this is really so a game that true. makes you really feel like a DJ with the wacky set. There's so much interesting uh, variety, to say the yeah. least. Yeah. Uh, so, Roop is an artist who is very prolific in BMS. Uh, as far as I know, um, Roop has not had a game, a uh, commercial game, pick up any of the songs that he's worked on, which is really a crime. Uh, because he's got a very bouncy, unique house style of music that um, it's kind of reminiscent of Dirty Androids, but it's not quite the same. It's kind of its own thing. Um, every time he submits tracks in the contests, um, they're very well received. Um, he does produce and release music commercially as a professional, but not in any rhythm games, as far as I know. Um, big flashing light this morning for this PGA. Oh, that's exciting. That's when you know it's getting good. Yeah. When the emergency broadcast signal kind of pops off. Yeah, do not adjust your television set. The cow is supposed to be there. Do not question the cow. The cow is our friend. For my own safety, got you. Listen, I just, I just not looking to find out what happened, but right? who knows? You don't know what that cow is capable of. We know what any cow is capable of. Absolutely Can we not. Ask that's the cow? no. That's why we keep them caged up. We fear their power. We can't let that get out! Otherwise we're doomed as a species. 
What do you think happens if we here play? for Cowlore? <laughs> this is now Cowlore? Yep. Sorry. This was the this was the end game. I'm a plant by Big Beef. <laughs> Oh my god, triple A, we'll take that raise. I have somehow not triple A'd that. Um, those chord streams at the beginning and end of the song um, are very good practice because chord streams are something that come up a lot in high end 2DX. Um, so, this is a song that uh, people will play a lot just to kind of see more chord stream patterns. Um, that's certainly why I started playing it a lot. And then I was like, you know what? This whips. I'm going to keep playing it. Absolutely. And now I just keep playing it. Uh, I walked past Chop Block. So this song is deceptive. This is the only song that we're going to be playing that's in the Satellite 1 folder, which is considerably harder than the songs that we've been playing. But you'll notice it's got 915 notes. We saw a combo almost that high in the last song. What's going on? Look at the end of the song. All the notes are on the back. Ah. Uh, make your way like, for it. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, it's about... It's a backloaded song. It's it's not not that hard. I can pass it pretty reliably, but it's deceptive if you just go off of the numbers. There's more of those chord streams. This song reminds me a lot of like that fusion jazz that they used in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. You know, you're actually kind of spitting with that one. I've been thinking about Marvel lately. I hate playing Marvel 2, but the soundtrack is godlike. Dang, you're not a Marvel 2 fan? That's rough. Debate, hot debate. That is a hot debate. That's a spicy take. I was too busy playing King of Fighters 2002 and CBS 2 at the time. Ooh, CBS 2 is a good pick. Look, I can do an F and infinite. That's all I you really need to play Marvel 2. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Light punch! Heavy punch! <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you have the entire video memorized. No, I don't. Down. I'm close. I have the I have the important part. That's true. That's true. Frankly, it's a crime that not all fighting game, like, tutorial videos are not released in that style. Right? It's so good. Just, ye just yell the inputs at me, and I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> Alright. Um, one more Roop song, and then we'll move on. Disco Balls! Um, so, you'll notice, um, we do have our mouse cursor, which uh, we don't have that in 2DX. So you can actually like do stuff with it. What? Um, like point out stuff. So like right here underneath the album art, like we can actually see how many notes there are and where the density of the notes are going to be in the song. We can see our average density, uh, the density at the very end of the song, the highest amount of density. This is a very useful information for when you're trying to figure out whether or not you're going to be able to, you know, handle something you've never played before. So like like an average density of about 15 and 16 is where I kind of drop the ball. I don't know what any of this means. I think it has to do with gauge loss and gain. Yeah, I think that's gauge related. Um, so um, there's a couple different clients out that you can play BMS files with. Um, I use a client called LR2 Raja. Uh, which combines the feature set of two other clients. There's Lunatic Rave 2, uh, which is an old client. The source code's lost. No. Uh, it's kind of a uh, feature stuck in like the late 2000s, and people still use it because that's what it... It still works. That's what people are used to, so they still use it. Uh, and then there's Vita Raja, which is a more recent Java-based client um, that changed a couple things. 
LR2 Raja is kind of the best of both worlds. Uh, it's got the LR2 gauges and timing windows on the Beta Raja feature set. Uh, unfortunately, not many uh, internet ranking tables services support it. I'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> like that was like the brutal random like it didn't want me to do anything it'd be like that like, like it was a race it's a better miscount but like that's probably one of the harder SL zeros so yeah that's root root good agree root very good I'm, act uh, I'm actually curious about something. Uh -huh. uh, I play a lot of rhythm games already, but I must know what counts as bad charting in this game. <laughs> um, the easy way to remember bad charting uh, is uh, if it's a bad chart, it's not on a table that matters. Um, like I said, everything that I'm playing is coincidentally on satellite or on another table. Like everything I'm playing today is on a table, so it's guaranteed to be good. Generally, players will stick to tables and just download the songs that are on those tables because they're known to be good. Yeah. Um, what would constitute that, bad yeah. charting, though? What are the decisions made that would uh, tip you off? Be like, oh, I'm not playing this ever again. Um, BS patterns that are unfun, painful to play, impossible to hit. Um, notes that are impossible to hit. Uh, of using the limitations of the BMS file system for reasons other than gimmicks. Uh, a big one uh, is not putting key sounds on your file. We'll, we'll, oh. we'll cover that in a second. <laughs> we'll play that song from Warm Up again that y'all thought was funny. <laughs> I wasn't going to play it live. But I'll, I'll play it for... I'll play it so chat can enjoy it too. Beautiful. I love this video. The cat is so angry. <laughs> it's so unfortunate. <laughs> He's kinda going crazy though. Okay, yeah, this, this video is something else. It really is. I'm, Y'all, I'm the flamingos? Right now, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. You can't hit me with the flamingos out of nowhere, dog. i just like to remind everyone that birds are not real. They cannot hurt you. Ooh, birds are not real. 
we do have some protesters on campus every now and then. Holding up birds aren't real signs. What's wrong with them? I don't know. I've never asked. Bunch of... But they think the earth is flat, too. I, I don't know. I... I, like, can't tell if it's a bit. But, like, every now and then, like, once a semester, the bird people come out. And they, they hold signs that say birds aren't real, ghosts are. And it just hits a little different every time. I'm... The ghosts are addition to that is even better. Yeah, I I think the best protests we've ever had on campus. And it's always a group of multiple people. It's just never one guy. Almost lost the hard clear, but we got the hard clear because we're good at the game. That's a good one for practicing, like, streams and density, because it's just, like, just a long earth power test. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are we ready? I, when you're, so when the, you're scared, I am in a panic. I want you to know that. Very exciting day. Yes. Yeah, so, so this is the song that's going to get me banned from submitting to my own IR. DJ. That would be considered a bad chart. <laughs> it's it's 13 seconds long. It has it has no um no key sounds, which is a huge no no. Um, for some reason, other people are playing it on Cinnamon IR, uh, which is one of the two internet ranking sites I use. Um, I also use uh, Boku Tachi. Um, I've talked before in my other showcases about Kamai Tachi, which is a score tracker for commercial games. Uh, Boku Tachi is the sister site for um, fan-made games, free games that support custom content. Uh, and that's the other reason I use LR2 Raja, because uh, Boku Tachi does not support regular Beta Raja because of the chart differences. It's just kind of to unify it and make sure we're all playing the same game. Because Vita Raja timing and gauges are actually different enough that it makes Vita Raja much easier to play than LR2 Raja. So it just kind of keeps everyone on the same on the same page, yeah. so to speak. Which is important for like that sort of thing. And like they're different enough that you can't just account for the uh, difference in um in the t the uh, timing. Like, you would have to actually, like, have, like, the gauge measurements and everything in real time to compare them. It's just not worth it. Cute little pause in the video. Yeah, there's that cat. Yes. There we go. Yes, <coughs> yes. Two cats. Yes. Better. Three. I just absolutely lose my mind for every single one. Massive W for cats everywhere. <laughs> I don't. Like, I don't like this random very much, guys. This is awful. <laughs> I picked it just because of the cats. That's very important. You made a Thank good you. decision.
I think that's normal clear. It might be easy. We'll find out in a second. Oh, it's the normal clear. Nice. Just barely. Nice. That's one of the nice things about having multiple gauges running at once. You can, you can see. have multiple gauges going at once. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's self-explanatory. Small brain, I pick this chart because it's fun and it helps me improve. Bigger brain, I pick this chart because it's popular. Even bigger brain, I pick this chart because it's funny. Gigantic brain, bro, look at these cats. That's all you need. <laughs> it's true. I just like this song. Vibe. I'm into it. I'm, I'm very into it. Speaking of pirates, live action One Piece, very good. Very good. Go watch it. Like, if you were put off by the fact that the anime is like a thousand episodes <laughs> long, now's a great time to get into the ground floor. Well, yeah, you know, I, I read the manga, so I can't be off with by a thousand episodes. Otherwise, I wouldn't be reading anymore. As someone who hasn't gotten into One Piece yet, uh, so thank sorry. you for sharing this information with me that there is a gateway, like an actual gateway. I'm scared, but I appreciate this. <laughs> well, here's my thing. You never get into the gateway. You just accept that you're going to be here for a while, and you take it piecemeal, <laughs> and you accept you're never getting caught up, which means you literally never run out of content, which I think is a W. Honestly, that's a really good way to look at it. Instead of being like, oh, it's going to take me forever. It's like, I am not going to hit that moment of being like, oh, no, I'm done. Yeah, if you like it, you can always read more. <laughs> yeah, one thing that like I will give massive props to the One Piece fandom for is they're one of the few fandoms that if you say, I'm only up to X, they'll just shut up and exclude you from the conversation so they don't spoil it for you. Very good. Which is, like, great, because other fandoms will just be like, yeah, X, Y, Z, and you're like, thanks, so I'm on, like, episode four. <laughs> I'm not watching anymore, thanks. The show is ruined forever. Honestly. Like, they'll just, they'll just be like, yeah, like, um, we're talking about stuff that happens in, like, 700 episodes. Like, you, you probably shouldn't be here for your own safety. It's like, thanks, my guy. I appreciate that heads up. We love a respectful community that cares about your watching experience. Absolutely. The Star Wars community was pretty good about it, too, when the new movies were coming out. Like, they would hold off on the spoilers for, like, a week. And it's like, that's reasonable, I think. Like, that's how we should treat, like, all movie releases. Just, like, no one talk about it for, like, a week. Because not all of us can take time off of work to go see a movie. True. Although... Like, it's, it's 2023. We're poor. <laughs> I do have a soft spot for things that are, like, spoilers without context. And it's, like, a completely, like, absurd, like... It's, like, spoilers without context. And it'll be, like, a single potato photoshopped on top of a fence post. And you're like, what <laughs> is happening? And then you watch the movie and you're like, oh, my God. I get it. Like... It's. I love those. I. I don't know. I. I enjoy those. <laughs> that one actually kind of works for JoJo Part Five. You know. You know.
video needed here. Just girl with baguette. I mean, hey, that works for me. Yeah. Oh, wait until she jump scares you. Oh, no. This is, this is oh. a video. Wait, what? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was... Yeah, you got me unironically excited Absolutely. that the girl was just gonna, like, look up. <laughs> That's the hit. That's it. She's just gonna stare directly into the camera. What, one of those street performers that only moves when you're not paying attention oh, to them? <laughs> oh, Okay. Uh, jellyfish memories. Uh, yet another really good song that for no apparent reason has never been picked up anywhere. Um, and after this song, uh, we're at about a midway point. We're going to take a little break so I can rest my hands and get some water. Wait, wait. So, I think we'll get a big TV to go into the break with. We'll have to see it. This is what, that it's not someone remembering jellyfish, it's that this is what the jellyfish remembers. Yeah, jellyfish be, just be like ganglia empty, plankton good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they process much, yeah. but. Yeah, there's your fun right. fact for the day jellyfish don't have brains. They don't, it's true. Which is why I aspire to be a jellyfish in every endeavor I take. So true. Jellyfish maxing. <laughs> I don't think I just vibe about and I hurt people when they touch me. Beautiful life. target. Beat my PB. Got more misses. Dang, that's crazy. Alright. So, this is our halfway point. I'm gonna go get some water. I assume that JPEG and Rena are also going to take a little stretch. Um, so, we'll be back in about five minutes. Uh, don't touch that dial. I'll be sad. Or do touch that dial. I'm not your mom. You have autonomy over your body and actions. Do whatever you feel like doing. But we'll be back in about five minutes for more on the FM. We'll see y'all in a second. Hey, welcome back on the FM. Still happening on Attract Mode, Lady Arcaders. Uh, I'm still Love Happy. Uh, I think JPEG is still JPEG and Rena is still Rena. I'll let them uh, speak for themselves on that. Yeah, I think so. I'm, I'll I'll check later. It's 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 not it's it's in the air. Uh, but we're on the air, so we'll figure it out later. Of course, <laughs> we're on. T technically, we're on the FM. Uh, 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 uh. Waka waka waka. <laughs> okay, so um, so Periquitus, uh, she's an artist that I've mentioned like very heavily in my other showcases. Came from BMS. This is probably her best known BMS song. The fact that she made songs for BMS is about all we know about her. We know she made BMS songs and we know she's a girl. That's it. She's a very private person. Uh, but this song whips. So let's get into it. Nope. Nope. I missed the scratch. We're going to do the same thing that I do when I do 2DX. I'm not dropping combo at the very beginning of a song. That's illegal.
very polite random. Oh, we love to see it. Oh, I shouldn't have tried that thumb slide. <laughs> such a good song. So, that's purpose. Uh, basically, the back half of the set, like, we're just gonna be looking at, like, artists that are super popular now because they were in DMS at one point, and now they do commercial stuff more often. Um, where is Calamity Fortune? Oh, I walked past it. Here's Calamity Fortune. Uh, I'm not sure if Zune has broken out into something, but Leaf is in, like, everything now except for 2DX. Uh, Leaf is all over the place now. Would you consider this a good uh, thing? Uh, I like Leaf. I don't like all of Leaf's songs. If any anyone who's played Pump It Up and has played Mope Mope knows exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, no. <laughs> Got me there. I thought about playing Mope Mope, but I was like, no, that that's too nightmare fuel. Both the chart and the video. We we appreciate that both for you and for us. <laughs> We're gonna get a little pogo action here in her, of course. Ooh. Yeah, all the BMS artists have been doing stuff with Toho too, and it's great. I mean, it honestly yeah. is not a rhythm block or like rhythm game without Toho being in there somewhere. It, it really wouldn't. and then lock those. I played a lot of, um, a lot of rhythm games at round one yesterday, so. Oh, fun. What'd you play? I mostly played Gitadora and Sound Voltex, but I did play one set of 2DX. Uh, but everyone is there to play 2DX yesterday. Oh. So, like, when I, put, when I put my card on the line, it took me, like, an hour to get to actually play my set. And I was like, you know... There's like 17 other rhythm games here. Y'all have fun standing around. I'm gonna go actually play games, suckers. And then I went and played Gitadora for like two hours. Cool. 
with, without having anyone ask to jump in, which was very nice. <laughs> It was also very nice because it was the weekend, which means uh, no maintenance. Normally at about noon, maintenance happens and you get kicked off of Yumius. But, you know. Okay, P Light. Yeah, P Light does a lot of stuff now. Uh, I haven't actually played Pop and Shower in BMS, so I'm not sure which one I'm going to play. Uh, how long are you? 351? The density on that's not too bad. We can just play that. I just play the long version, why not? Ooh. Yeah, this song isn't Sound Voltex. It's a lot of fun. I can't imagine it would not be fun in this game. It's a, a good song. Oh yeah, this is definitely a long version. It's still blowing my mind that you are just... You're just like, ah, it's fine, I'll do this. And you're just... Like, for you, you're like, yeah, I've got misses and goods and stuff. And it's like, eh. Uh, you are killing this and blowing my third eye wide open by doing these tracks, and I want you to know that. <laughs> I, I also need like a little break from like the super high density stuff. This is like a nice breather. Oh, I feel that. Sometimes you just stare at the notes and they start to blend together a little bit and like, oh no. So true. Especially because yesterday, like, most of what I played was Drum Mania. So I was keeping track of nine inputs on four different limbs. It's a very mentally taxing game. Ooh. Physically taxing too, because you're drumming, but you know. Oh, yeah. This is why I stick to real percussion. So that's the galaxy brain play. Just play real drums. Yeah, well, you know, you hop into the orchestra. I mean, it sucks, but you do have 72 measures of rest, so. It's enough to get your bearing. But. God help you if you hit it a quarter measure too early, though. Okay, you don't have to remind Everyone's me. Everyone's gonna know. You don't have to remind me of that experience. This is so much better than the short version. How have I never heard this version before? This whips. No, it does. Hold on. I'm like bouncing in my chair to it. This is grooves only. Groove. <laughs> cash in my one for the stream that whipped the llama's ass that was a great song
Holy cow. Alright, what did I have planned next? Oh my god! Oh my god, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Oh no. You're I, scared, I'm I scared. Don't... I, it's not that I'm scared, I just don't want to play conflicts. What's the difference between these two and others? Do I have any that are cleared? Alright, let's just... Let's compare and contrast. Okay, th this one's denser, this has more scratches. Let's play the denser one, I don't feel like scratching. So, to preface my dread... Uh, somebody recently counted. Conflict is in, like, 37 commercial rhythm games or something. It's, like, beyond prolific. I'm just, like, sick of seeing it everywhere. Oh. And it, it came from BMS, but it's, like, in basically everything except Konami's games, uh, where it's only in Sound Voltex. Maybe Poppin? I don't know. I'm just, like... You just can't escape this song. Like, it's like meme status in the community now. Like, it's a fine song. I just don't think it's, like, anything special, personally. was kind of weird, but sure, we'll take it. <sighs> Sight read, by the way. Uh, that's the last we'll see of Cranky. Unfortunately, Cranky's in a lot of games. Um, we'll see Ciro Morrow again a little later, because uh, like, I am legally not allowed to boot up BMS without playing Absurd Gaff. Uh, it's literally in my contract. Fair. Thank you for Nora 2R. Uh, thank you for following the letter of the law. We appreciate that. Um, we, we, yeah, yeah, we, we obey the law in my household. These are the exact same chart. Oh, you know what it is? I have it in a Vita Fighters folder and in a, a, a table folder. Uh, we'll just play this version. Um, yeah, Nora 2R. Uh, another very popular artist. This is another very popular song. This is in a bunch of games. It's in Sound Voltex. It's a very fun chart. Um, Nora 2R also has a couple of songs that were made originally for Beatmania 2DX. Um, my favorite of which is Smashing Wedge. I think it's his best song uh, from any of the rhythm games that I've played. But um, this song is also kind of a meme because of, you know, it's bass, bass, kick, kick, bass, kick, kick. It tells you exactly what it is. It's also on another, which is fun. That's a little kick. Sometimes and others sound different even on BMS. 
That was kind of a thing that they did, and, um... In, uh, Beat Mania originally? This is kind of a strange one. This must be a seven. They've totally changed it. What a strange Sabin. We'll take it though. This is the sort of dumb stuff that the DMS community does occasionally. This is so cursed, I hate it. Never playing this version again. It's certainly an interesting watch. Don't know if I was prepared for this. I was certainly not. I was just expecting it to be in a different folder. I wasn't expecting it to be a totally different everything. <laughs> Well, we all got to experience this and now none of us will be back to do it again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, you know. So, that happened. Just a little uh, YouTube poop movie for the homies. Mm-hmm. Sure. Nobody's played that. I need to figure out what fucking folder that's in and delete it. <laughs> Never again. I don't want that to ever curse my screen again. The chart was fine. Everything else about it was... Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, well, it was certainly interesting. I was a Yeah, I need to figure out what's going on with that. Yeah, I'm... I'm gonna be drinking tonight to forget that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you mind if I tag along on that one? Uh, by all means. Milk! Milk is... Milk is not gonna let us down. And neither is the song! <laughs> if, if, if base, base, kick, kick, base, kick, kick don't got me, I know milk got me. Uh, this is uh, Atsushi Mori Mori. Um, or, you know, if you prefer Japanese, Mori Mori Atsushi. Um, this song is in a bunch of games. It's really fun in Voltex. It's a laser chart. I hate it. Because I'm bad at lasers. The song is fine. Like, I love this song. I'm just bad at lasers. Chat wants to know if Big Milk is in cahoots with Big Beef. Probably. Hey, hey, we can't be talking about that on the stream, all right? Listen. <laughs> yeah, like, like I'm talking about like conspiracy theories. Like, I can't get get into that too. <laughs> there are just certain things they don't want you to know, all right? Oh, can someone do me a favor and uh, check the Eagles score for me? Because the Eagles are playing right now. Oh, okay. I just want y'all. <laughs> got you. I just want y'all to know that like I care enough about my series that I'm skipping football. Let's see. All right, right now it's uh, seven seven. It's first right now. I don't know anything about. Uh... No, we're quarter two. All right, there we go. Well, if the Eagles don't got me, I know Milton got me. <laughs> I don't know anything about football. I just. Uh, the... I mean, all I can say is we shouldn't be 7 7 against anyone when we're playing at home. But wow. that's. 
Yeah. Like, if... Like, we're known for two things here in Philadelphia. We're known for beating up Santa, and we're known for home field advantage. Neither of those things are a good thing, because, like, honestly, like, we're worse than Yankees fans when we're in our own stadium, Ooh. but... We boo because we care. Ah. Uh, it's like a love thing. I mean, we're, we're, we're Blue Collar City. It's tough love. <laughs> um. Yeah. I've talked about Freezer before in some of my showcases. Uh, I've played Chocolate Planet in a bunch of showcases because Chocolate Planet's very good. Um. This is Freezer's best song. It's in Voltex, apparently, which I just found out while I was doing research for the showcase. I'm gonna have to go play it next time with the arcade. Cause this song is good. The easy clear, I think. Scuff the ending a little bit. Yep, there's our first easy clear of the showcase. Nice. Oh. Yeah, we'll take the easy clear one. We still raised the score by a pretty considerable amount, actually. Of course. Uh, also, that song contains a pun uh, for all the, the not Japanese speakers in the chat, which I assume is everyone except me. <laughs> um, the chorus says, "Very go, Ichigo, go go." Ichigo is strawberry. <laughs> uh. The pun works in Japanese. It doesn't work in English, because if you only know very basic Japanese, you're just gonna hear Ichi and you're gonna go, "Oh, one go go go," which is what I thought until I learned that Ichigo means strawberry. But uh, yeah, we got four songs left. Five songs. I don't know how to count. It's okay. I feel uh. that. Stare at the screen long enough, it all starts. All just numbers. Yeah, where's absurd gaff? There's like a bajillion charts for absurd gaff. Uh, it's an older song. It's um from 2008. Um, I mentioned uh, a word earlier. I didn't really explain it. Sabun. Uh, that's when you take someone else's song and you make your own chart for it. Typically, it's to make the chart harder, but in some cases, um. Absurd Gaff being one. It's just a really popular song that's been around for a long time. So it's a it's a good like you already have like a known good chart to fiddle around with and try to put your own spin on it. Oh. <laughs> Where's my audio? Oh no. Is my oh. absurd gaff broken? Hang on. I might just have to play a different one. Oh no!
Okay, this is the exact same chart. Here comes the base. I think. It should be the same chart. Like, it's the same counts and everything. It might just be, like, a little mistake in my um, sound database. Let's see. Do we have key sounds this time? Okay. That sounds better. Yeah, this is the exact same chart. Yeah, that version might have no key sounds. It might be on like a joke chart or something, or a joke table, because those exist too. <laughs> Very good to know. I don't like this random. What is going on here? I'm re-rolling this. <laughs> like th that's just yo dog. Can you scale? And it's like I can. I just won't. Darn, it, that was my favorite background music, too. Uh, that one's a loop of uh, Stratoliner by Shisho, uh, which uh, is from the game Waka, which is now dead, unfortunately. Aww, that's... Very good song. Like, why do I keep getting these weird randoms? Alright, the next one, we're just going to power through it. Oh, I just gave me the same random because of how I restarted. Uh. We'll just deal with it. No, we're not dealing with it. I literally can't play that. <laughs> my, my, oh, no, that's the same random. Oh, my God. My right hand literally cannot keep up with that pattern right now. All right. Third time's the charm. If it doesn't work this time, we're not playing Absurd Gaff. <laughs> I won't disrespect the song by not playing it, well. I believe in the dream. This is a better roll. Okay, this is doable. I can hit it. I if it works, it I mean Yeah it works. Yeah the Voltex version of the song has this really intense laser slam section in this part. It's really fun. background on why this one's called Absurd Gaff? Yeah. I don't know. Uh. I assume like it has to do with like a theater meaning of Gaff or something. I don't think it means what we think it means. Because I'm aware what that word means in our community is a little different. <laughs> They also occasionally will take words and shorten them, not realizing that it like either doesn't mean anything or means something way different. Which is just certainly the case here. Uh, but yeah. Like, that's a trans song. Like, trans is a genre that's extremely underrepresented and rhythm games. Like, it's perfect for the games. It's just, like, a fast, repetitive beat. Like, that's it, what you want. Oh, yes, data error! N no, there's nothing wrong with my database. The song is literally called Data Error. That's read. the wrong data error. <laughs> I'll just look for data. Here it is. Uh, what's the another look like? Uh, you know what? We'll get the another. We go to a college try. Uh, so data errors in a couple games. Uh, uh, Cosmograph is still producing a lot of music. Very good stuff. This is a very good song. Uh, 
it's just occurring to me that with all the technical trouble we had putting the showcase together because of my song database killing itself last week, uh, maybe yelling data error on stream wasn't the greatest <laughs> play. You know what? Fair. Because that's literally why we had to reschedule. <laughs> Fine. Oh no, I can hear the phone deployed already. Maybe the song breaks it. Maybe it's like, you know, next time I'm going to download song, a song called Drop Tables, it's just going to break everything because the database is in SQL. Oh, no. <laughs> it's going to be named something that makes it the last thing it looks at alphabetically. So you go through like the entire arduous process of building your song database and then Drop Tables runs and just kills it. Because knowing how this game is built, I highly doubt it. the tables are sanitized. <laughs> like, it's an honor system thing. I'm sure no one... If someone did name a song Drop Tables and, like, started breaking people's installs, they would probably get, like, excommunicated instantly. If it actually, like, caused problems. That would be crazy, though. That wasn't too bad for, like, a sight read. That's probably, like, an SL... That would be an SL0, SL1 level song, I think. Uh, easy clear. I'll take it. Alright. Uh, how are we looking on the timer? Ooh, that's a good question. We are at about just a little over a half an hour into this block. So, like, okay, 20 minutes Okay, that works out left. pretty... That works out pretty well, because I only have uh, two songs left. Uh -huh. Uh, which means we can all get out of here a little early. Um, this song... This game has way too many songs. I'm not gonna, like, if I was playing 2DX, like, I might be able to pad it out a bit, like, just by picking songs that didn't quite make it the cut. Uh, this game has way too many songs, and way too many versions of some songs. So, like, I'll get, like, paralyzed by choice. Um, Freedom Dive, yeah. I feel like I recognize so, this. Yeah, it, I don't know from where. Uh, probably from every rhythm game ever. Uh. Uh, this song this song has also been put into, like, every game ever. It's in Voltex. It's in Shuni Thumb. It's in Sidus, Voaz. Uh, it's in everything that I'm aware of. It's in Waka, Rest in Peace. It's in everything. Kind of a meme at this point. It also has a reputation for being horrendously difficult in every game it's in. Ooh, well, that's exciting. I'm not playing. I mean, we can watch the autoplay because we have time. Like, well, we can watch like an autoplay of like the insane version. Ooh. But I'm not gonna play it. It's like it's like 17 pay grades above my scale. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Like, this is baby compared to the version that is, like, notorious. I don't like this random. The random put an anchor on seven, and I hate that for me.
having so much trouble like hitting those patterns. Like my arms are tired from playing drum mania so much yesterday. Mm. And it turns out the same muscles you use to drum are the same muscles that I need to like pick my hands up and down. Oh, absolutely. Really fast. Um, I have the all right. Where's where's all right? Where's four dimensions? <laughs> um. Why is there an Anmitsu version of Four Dimensions? <laughs> you... You actual... Uh, I think this is the canon version of Four Dimensions. As God himself intended. Uh, this is the... I'm not playing it. I put it on autoplay just so we can all look at it and go, mm -hmm. how have multiple people passed this? <laughs> Perfect. Because that's basically my reaction to it. That's very fair. <laughs> Like, I'm on a first same basis with people that can play this. Oh. <laughs> like, I hate it here. <laughs> uh, man, I don't know. This, uh, this TAS fellow is pretty good at this game. True. I, th I, th I think TAS is gonna go far. True. You know? Man, Taz broken. He's too good at everything, Bannon. I agree. I think they cheat. I think they're using hats. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like there are there are humans that can pass this. I don't know how, but they're out there, and I know some of them. I've watched them do it. It's beyond insane. Oh. I don't like thinking about like, that. That makes me feel inferior. <laughs> yeah, so I talked a little bit about folders earlier, and like, satellite is like kind of where I live. Satellite kind of covers the 2DX difficulty range, roughly. Um, there's a bunch of different difficulty scales um, that are used by the community. Uh, satellite is kind of the main one. Uh, there's also Stella, which is the satellite scale, but for stuff that's harder than satellite goes. Um, we used to use a table called Normal and Insane. Um, Insane roughly lines up with uh, Satellite's difficulty. Uh, it's just a little more granular. And then after Insane, there was Overjoy, which is roughly Stella. And they're just astronomically difficult songs. The quirky charts. Yeah, they're, they're, just, they're just dumb. They're beyond ridiculously difficult. It's well beyond my skill level. Like, I passed a couple of Satellite 3s, and I don't see going into Stella or Overjoy ever. Like, forget anytime soon, I don't see it happening. Like, I don't think I'm physically capable of doing it. All right, so I only had one song left to play that I had planned on, and again, there's too many songs to pick from. I'll get choice paralysis if I, like, add on too much. So, we're just gonna go with one of the standards of BMS uh, that has also showed up in a lot of games, uh, commercial and fan games. Uh, this is Air. It's a very, very, very famous BMS song inside the community. It's another one that there's, you know, just a couple of people have made their own version of the chart. You know, no big, no big just deal. Just a couple, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shiki was one of the one of the first like really big breakout artists in the community. Uh, he influenced a lot of people. Like he influenced how they chart songs. Uh, he influenced like the the craftsmanship behind making the songs. Uh, pretty much like he, he did a lot, and unfortunately, he passed away in uh, 2021. Aww. Uh, from various health issues that were not COVID, fortunately. So we didn't ruin that for ourselves as a race, but it's a great song.
two away. Oh. Foiled again. Drats. Yeah, rest in peace, Cheeky. Uh, but uh, that's everything that I wanted to show, like, as far as songs go. Like, there's, like, an infinite wealth of possibility in this game. Um, if you can think about what you could do for a community of people that's primarily on the internet, there's probably a way that you can do it in this game. Like, you can make the music, you can make art, you can work on themes. Uh, you can do what I do and help work on sites that handle internet ranking. Um, there's... You know, the world is your oyster with BMS. Well, not. And like I said, too, there's like a bunch of different mo modes you can play. We got 14 key, and I uh, I do have a second controller over here because my partner and I do both play doubles, but she plays it more than I do. Um, there's nine key for pop and music style play, uh, and ten key, of course, for doubles, pop, uh, five key doubles. Here's 24 key for the keyboard mania players. <laughs> I don't think I have any 48 key shirts. There's only like 12 of them in existence that I'm aware of. So that's everything that I have for today's edition of On the FM. Uh, I know we're ending a little earlier than we had scheduled for, um, but it is what it is. Deal with it. It's my show. I can do whatever I want. That's true. Uh, also, I know, I know the previous showcase also ran a little bit over. Uh, so I don't mind, you know, me, me ending early kind of balances yeah. it out for staff, which is kind of, you know, unexpected benefit. Anyways, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the next time the FM, um, but it will probably be maybe December, early January. It's just going to depend on, you know, staff scheduling and everything, but we'll see. Uh, just watch Lady Arcader stuff for details. Uh, it'll come sooner or later. Um, if you're not following me, and you want to be, um, you can go to okapi.iidx.pro and it will actually redirect you to my Blue Sky, where that is also my Blue Sky handle. And if you could just go to regular old 2dx.pro, uh, that will redirect you to my LinkedIn, which has my Twitch and all my other junk on it. So that's all I've got to show today. Uh, Rena, talk about yourself. Uh, yeah, I sometimes stream every now and then. Uh, I can't do it too much because now I've got school, which makes me sad. But when I do do it, I like to think it's kind of fun. You can find me as Bunny is Bunrina basically everywhere. Or if not, you can find me as Bodaciously Kamek. I make funny music every now and then. Maybe I'll, uh, we, I have been thinking about it. We do make funny music. Absolutely. I have been thinking about poking around with this game. I get excited about it every well, time I see it. <laughs> well, I know a little bit about charting for this game, so maybe uh, 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 we uh, should uh, talk about uh, it. Uh, and yeah, yes, yeah, slide into my DMs, Rena. Let's talk about this. Um, Y'all heard it yeah, here first. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get. Yeah, we just need. A, well, crap, JPEG, you make you make visual stuff. Mm. Like, like, all right, we're submitting. <laughs> you, you heard it here first. I guess we're all submitting something to. Uh, BMS of Fighters um, next time it comes around. Oh, my God. Um, oh yeah. One, well, I almost forgot. Like, the most important thing, and I feel embarrassed as a Philly area person forgetting. Go, Birds. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Bye. Bye. <laughs> um, thank you all for both making my job easy and saying where we can find you both. And thank you for such a fun and energetic and educational and just absolutely delightful showcase this is so much fun and i'm so glad that you do this on the fm series and this is just this is super neat thank you both for being here um yeah thanks for having us yeah and I'm shoot cool. anytime um but with that we are uh going to go to a quick little intermission screen before we wrap it up uh so you will hear from me in just a moment thanks everybody Okay, everyone, that was an absolutely awesome, super fun showcase. I had a blast today, and I hope all of you did as well. Uh, as a reminder, my name is JPEG. I've been your host of the day, your hangout buddy. Uh, if you would like to hear more from me, you can follow me on Twitter at, at also JPEG, A-L-S-O-J-A-Y-P-E-G, or on Twitch at JPEG underscore E-X-E. 
I'm going to be uh, releasing a schedule for some uh, weekly creativity streams soon where we do some chill crafty time and just hang around, chat. So uh, hopefully that we will, you know, be somebody's fancy and maybe you'll come hang out with me too. I would love it. Uh, but more importantly, uh, I want to talk about what we have for future attract modes, because while this one has come to an end, we certainly have wonderful things in store for you. So we have a double feature coming up on Thursday, November 9th at 9 PM Eastern. We'll start by catching Astrid the Horror Girl showing off a speed run of Ruiner, which is a brutal, action-heavy twin-stick shooter, and she'll make it even more brutal by running on the most difficult category, which is New Game Plus No Tutorial. And then for a change of pace right after, we know you're going to need to wind down from all that adrenaline, and Scala Kitty is here to deliver with a speed run of one of the coziest indie games to come out this year, Sticky Business. Come join her as Z runs a sticker shop and gets to know her new customers. Make sure to stick around, wink, wink, for some fun sticker creation afterwards too. And if you have enjoyed this, just a reminder that the Lady Arcaders 2022 highlights video is out on our socials right now. Thanks to our wonderful editor, Pakal. And we are so proud to have this look back at our first year of gaming with some wonderful women and femmes. All right. I have enjoyed my time here with all, but it is time for our raid. We're gonna be raiding into Broken Hyperlink today, so strap in, enjoy, and we will see you next time on Attract Mode.